they are worried that always Hanuman serves Ram, but we have no chance to serve Ram. We should make a click that we should divide all these service of Ram, and we will do for oh. Lakshman, Bhartha, Shatrugna, and Shrika. And they divided all kinds of services of Ram. And they left no service for Hanuman. And going whole day. He was saying the occasion that I should go and start. But before this, the four were ready to do. Always doing. He was so over it, Hanuman. He told that, I will try. If I am not serving now, so give me something. That we have left no service, we have divided everything. We will do everything. You have done up till now so many services. Now you will serve. Then he told that, give me that. I should do like this. If any text yawn, then in the air they do like this, Ram, Ram, Ram. No? We should not take this. This is the symptom of alasi, alasya, eh? idleness. And if it laziness. So if it comes, we should do like, like Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Radhe Radhe Radhe, Shiva, Shiva, Shiva. <laughs> no. So you know that, please give me this service. When Ram will take high yawn, then I will do this. I say, yes, you do. And he sat on the door, and he was doing always like this. And Ram was taking yawn also. Today we Anyone could not start because Ram always doing this. He has no time to take prasadam, no time of sleepness, no time of anything, no messaging, nothing, always. And new big problem came. Four are dressed Sita and they have no time to start because they were doing always and they told that why you are doing so? Because you have not given any service, I don't know when he will take job or yawn. So I am doing always this and wrong all, always doing this. Then they came to Hanuman and told that, excuse me, uh, uh, what do you want, we will give service to you. And then they divided also to service. So one man cannot be without. He, he is Prime Minister of Ram, he is helper of Ram, he is servant of Ram, he is, what, he is Chama, Padipa, and Pan, everything. His tail is like Chama, sometimes. Sometimes making a fault to from him. Once, uh, when a battle was going between Ram and Raman, skillfully Raman called his son, that is Mahi Raman. He used to live in England. <laughs> and from here he called, and he went there, Ram told that, my dear son, you should kill both Ram and Lakshman. Oh, I can do easily. And he took the shape of division. And in the night he entered where Ram and Lakshman were sleeping. With court bed, he took both and entered in Pathalo and came to this. Here. He has a Kali, Mahakali. And he was worshipper of Mahakali. He brought it 
and in the night he was preparing to give sacrifice of Ram and Lakshman head to Devi. So many demons were there and everything preparation was done. My Raman told that what you want? You want to take anything? Any desire? Ram Lakshman told that no one desired. Then a very big fire was burning there. And they were ready to take the head of Ram and Lakshman to kill and to give it in sacrifice. Anyhow, Hanuman knew this. All were crying in the, there in Lanka. And Hanuman at once jumped from there and came to this England, this place. And in a very little shape, in a monkey, but more like very little, like a more than ant. And he entered in a flower and he went to Devi. When Prist gave this, or Mahiraman gave this mala to Devi, he became very weak and kept his feet on the peg of Kali. And he pressed Kali so much that she went in Pata. And he took the souls and he cut down all his Mahiraman and gave him then Ram and Krishna, Ram and Lakshman were so happy. He told that we should now go to Lanka. Now how we can go? Oh, come on my on my soldier. So Ram and Lakshman sat on the soldier of Hanuman and Hanuman quickly. But there one thing happened. There was a monkey who told Hanuman that why you have come here? Who are you? Who are you? Hanuman told. Oh, I am son of Hanuman. Oh, I have no son. I am Hanuman. <laughs> I have no son. Oh, I am your son. How? Because when you jumped in sea after burning Lanka, your sweat came into sea and a fish took to it. And from that fish, I am your son. So I am sharing, protecting this kingdom of Mahiram. You cannot enter. Then Hanuman first appeared, defeated him and he binded in his own tail there. And he defeated and he killed Bhairaman and killed. So Hanuman can do everything. He was general also, private secretary also, always serving. Once, once Sita Devi was in Ajutya and he went in his decorated room, Sringar Bhavan. But Sringar Bhavan? And after taking bath, we are taking Sindhu here, for Indian chest lady. lady, it is essential. It is called so hard. <coughs> we don't, don't take, but if they are married, they should take this sign. So Sita was doing so. Hanuman at once went there and told the mother, what you are doing? What is this red thing? He told that, oh son, dear son, this is called Suhar. A chest lady should take it, so that his husband should be so long life. So far my husband's long life, I am taking this. And Sita, 
After preparation, herself he came to Ram in the council. And Hanuman went in the, that room, dressing room, and he took all the shindu, red <laughs> collar, and gave water and took every time. <laughs> if Sita takes here only and Ram has a long life, then I will call on myself a whole that Ram should live long and long. <laughs> and he went, he also went in the council. All were laughing. <laughs> Ram was also laughing. Oh, Hanuman, what we have done today? I have done it only to long live you or you. If Sita takes only very lean and thin here and your life is so prolonged, then I do that in my whole body that you should live long, long, and long. So Hanuman is happy in so many ways. Without Ram he cannot live. Even Krishna is calling him, he is not ready to go. But if anyone tells that it is not Krishna, he is Ram calling him Ayodhya. At once he quickly comes more than Guru, he is so much superior than Guru. And he comes at once. He sees that Krishna has become Ram. And he, see, he told that, oh Rukmini, um, Satyabhama, you should become Sita. But he, he denied, I cannot be Sita. Then he told to Rukmini, Rukmini at once became Sita. And they took the son of him again later. So Hanuman always serving, whether Ram is there or not, anywhere Krishna is going up from, he is there. He is hearing by lakhs and lakhs ears. He is chanting lakhs and lakhs, mouths and lakhs, lakhs. So we should serve our devotee. Krishna like this. So in evening I will finish this. Go Pranam. Came for He also. Like Vrindavan, Krishna lives always in Vrindavan. Never lives. So he lives in Kampurush, but you cannot see. As we cannot see Krishna in Vrindavan and cannot see Mahaprabhu in Novi, but he still is playing and doing everything. So Hanuman is in Kampurush. Who, what is Kampurush? You know? Tipat. Tipat, you know? Tipat is Kampurush. But we cannot see. But with these lives. Go Pranam. Yes. If there is anything to speak to the Lord has so the few and you longer. If you chant more, I will leave. Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari Go.
थैंक यू जी थैंक यू यू कैन डू यस
the famous peace activist named Julius Weizsäcker, who was a brother of the president of Germany, the Erasmus Prize, which is very prestigious. And this person wanted to share this prize with Walter Eidlitz, the, the great devotee, because he found his writings so very important for the Western world. Unfortunately, uh, they were little read. <laughs> they were little read. They were beautiful books, but no one, no one was reading them. So it is uh, uh, extreme uh, good fortune that uh, a few uh, a score of years later, Shiva talked about this one, Prabhupada came, and uh, he preached very extensively. He came in the, in the, the right in the right time, and he found many receptive receptive ears and uh, hundreds and thousands of heart, Western hearts melted when they heard his preaching. And so then between him and the chanting of the holy names began to spread all over the world. After Srila Prabhupada left this world, as we so often see when a, such a great Acharya leaves his body, uncertainty arose. <coughs> Uh, and uh, devotees did not know so very well how to proceed further. Some of them who adhered very consciously to Srila Prabhupada's instructions knew that in India, I'm speaking from a Western perspective, but within in India there were especially two personalities that uh, he wanted his disciples to take guidance from that they didn't know how to proceed. And one of them was Srila Bhakti Dr. Srila Deva Goswami Maharaj, who helped them in the end. Also very much, very much inspired by Srila Bhakti Yonam Thakur. These, these great personalities were completely under the divine inspirational influence of Srila Bhakti Yonam Thakur. So Srila Siddha Maharaj also glorified Srila Bhakti Yonam Thakur in a very beautiful form in the country called it here. Srila Maharaj wrote beautiful poetry in Sanskrit, as, as we, we rarely see being done nowadays. In beautiful meters, mellifers, enchanting. And so he also glorified Srila Bhakti Mata. And Srila Maharaj also left his body, which was very difficult to, uh, to swallow for us all. And uh, within Srila Prabhupada's movement, there was also a great Acharya, and Srila Govinda Maharaj became. But he also left his body. All these great souls did his bodies, and now uh, amongst us, Srila Prabhupada and Narayana Maharaj has come as, in, in our present view, um, the ultimate possibility of hope that has been granted to us by the Bhakti and Thakur. Yes, so far, I would like to. Come and sit here. And from sitting there. Yeah. In 1967, our Shiva Prabhupada sent me to Montreal, Canada, in North America to serve in the opening of the Iskand Temple there, which was the third of the temples that he established in the Western world. So the temple president, Janardha Prabhu, had heard that Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur had sent his book, which he wrote in the late 1800s, his book, Lord Chaitanya's Life and Precepts, that he had sent them to McGill University which was near to the temple. 
So Janard and Prabhu and I went there to the library at McGill University. And after many hours of searching through all the shelves, we actually found the book and then uh, somehow got it to Srila Prabhupada, who was in New York. And then Prabhupada later put that book as his introduction to his summary of the Chaitanya Charitamrita called Teachings of Lord Chaitanya. Then he had me do a painting from the uh, photographs that Janata Prabhu had also sent him of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur uh, sitting or standing next to a row of scriptures. And generally Prabhupada had me write something on the painting because he always liked to spread knowledge in any way. So I would not only do the painting, but I had to write with the paintbrush at the corner some something according to what the painting was. So for this painting of Chulabhati and El Thakur, um, he had me write that in 1896, which is the year of the birth of A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami, Shilabhati Vinod Thakur, who is the pioneer of Krishna consciousness in the West, sent this book, uh, Lord Chaitanya's Life and Precepts, to uh, McGill University in the West. And also, uh, then when Prabhupada was going to uh, India, for the first time since his coming to America, in 19, July of 1967, he was leaving from New York, just before he left for the airport. And then, of course, we found out 30 years later that there was one person to meet him at the other side in Delhi, and that was Shulman Arayan Maharaj. And there, um, Prabhupada had Shulman Arayan Maharaj train up his first Western preachers in preaching in India, and where Narayan Maharaj also gave sannyas to Kirtananda Maharaj and helped Chula Prabhupada in so many other ways. So just before Prabhupada left for the airport, uh, he came to the end of the temple room and looked up at the wall and uh, at the painting of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, large paintings about 24 by 32 inches. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur and Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. And he offered his full dandavat to the pictures and then when he stood up again, he said, the grandfather and the great-grandfather take care of the children better than the father. So, Chilabhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur and Chilabhakti Vinod Thakur will take care of you better than I, because they're present here. And there's one uh, very nice story about Bhakti Vinod Thakur that uh, Prabhupada told and Chilabhakti Rai Maharaj also told about how he, because he, one of the main things, as Srila Gurudev just mentioned, was that there were so many um, Sahajisms and so many anti-Bhakti philosophies, and the so-called followers of Mahaprabhu were engaged in debauchery activities in the name of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur, uh, came to give the light of bhakti and defeat all non-bhakti philosophies. So, uh, in one episode, he had heard, because he was a government minister, a government magistrate in Jagannath Puri, and he had heard that there was one um, false incarnation of Vishnu named Vitsikasena, uh, who said that he was an incarnation of Mahavishnu, and he wanted to have rasa dance with so many ladies. So he would uh, ask so many households to give their daughter. And in fear and ignorance, they gave their daughter. And he was engaged in the watch activities. So the government uh, requested Shilabhaj Manoj Thakur to go and do something to save the situation. So he went there to see this false yogi. And um, the man said, I am an incarnation of Vishnu. So uh, Bhakti Vinod Thakur said, wonderful, then why don't you go and see uh, Lord Jagannath? Because he's also God. So the false yogi said, Jagannath, he's made of wood. I am the real Vishnu. So at that point, Chula Bhakti Vinod Thakur arrested him. 
And after he arrested them, his whole family became sick because the this yogi had power, mystic power. From his non-spiritual practices, he got some uh, supernatural power. So his wife said to him, now maybe he is some incarnation or something, and that's why we're all getting sick. Maybe if you don't release him, then we'll all die. So Shiva Thakur said, then let us all die, but this rascal should be punished. So in the courtroom, he was sentenced to a, a year and a half in prison. And um, Bhakti Vinod Thakur ordered the um, members